a nurse. What would it be like to be a nurse, I should say? Yes, and our Morgan Koziar, she is live this morning, finding out some of those answers for us. Good morning, Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Hey, good morning. We are live in Johnstown at Kahneman Memorial Medical Center. We're in the trauma room again. This is Lakin. You're a nurse here. Talk about the nursing industry, why you think it's important. Um, it is so important um, to community, um, all of our community. It's important nationwide. Um, everyone requires a lot of care, and sometimes you don't realize how much care they require. You know, and we're seeing a nationwide shortage. Why do you think, you know, it's important to fill these roles? Now, there's so many different options and avenues that you can go through when you're a nurse. Talk about wh what do you do specifically? Uh, I work on a medical stroke unit. Uh, we uh, specialize in, um, like, epilepsy and strokes, um, anything neuro, and we also get, like, the med surge side of patients. So we get sepsis patients, uh, pneumonia, heart failure. We kind of get everything across the board. Yeah, it's, it's so important to have you, you know, available because people are coming through here, you know, sometimes in critical conditions, and you guys, you're the first people that, you know, see these, these folks that are, you know, in these times of need. What's your favorite part about it? Oh, goodness. Um, my favorite part, I guess I would say, is the patient interaction. Um, I have met patients that were born in Germany and came over when they were at just a young age. I've met people from New York City. Um, you get like the vast majority of patients from everywhere and it's so cool to like hear their stories and where they're from or what brings them in such like that so yeah definitely an interesting career I think um, do you have any hopes or goals like where are you just gonna remain a registered nurse um, you said you're gonna get your bachelor's degree maybe yes uh, my bachelor's I'm hoping to get very shortly um, it's always tough going back to school after being off for a while um, but there is an abundance of things that you can kind of trail off uh, from nursing school or just being a nurse. Mm -hmm. uh, there's anesthesia school, um, nurse practitioner, so I don't know where I'm going to go yet, but for right now I like being a nurse. <laughs> and we were talking about there's so many different opportunities for learning and growth even here at Conema. Yes, yes, I am a Conema School of Nursing alumni. Their program is honestly I feel like one of the best programs. Um, it is one of the only programs that I attended, but um, as far as the pass rate for their NCLEX and the boards, um, I felt like the program really prepared mm -hmm. me. So um, I can't say anything like it's it's great. Yeah. So. And again, so 25 positions that you guys need to fill, and it's important because it's truly all hands on deck. You guys all work together here. Yes, um, especially my floor. I can't speak for other floors, but my floor. Um, they're not just co-workers to me, uh, they're more like family and my manager is so, she works so well around all of our busy schedules, around everyone having kids or people are still in school. Um, we all work well as a team on eight rows and I can't say anything like bad about mm -hmm. working with any of them. So Yeah, it's just, it's fascinating, you know, just even doing these interviews and learning about your daily uh, schedules and what you guys do. It's just, it's truly incredible. Thank you so much, Lakin, yeah, for thank you. Talking, uh, talking with us at, again. So at Conema Memorial Medical Center, 8 to noon, they're having open interviews. Come on in if you or someone you know is eligible. We've got to fill these crucial roles in our community. Well, you're exactly right, Morgan. Thank you for that. And they are so important oh to gosh, our community. Yeah. Especially, like we said, when you hear that many, close to 30 openings. So Just incredible. Mm -hmm. So get down there if you know anyone or if you're qualified mm -hmm. yourself. All right, let's check in now with meteorologist Christy Shields.